Konnichiwa everyone, this is Nadoka from Artek the Mommy Scientist. Today I would like to introduce you another longtime favorite from our SBC series, the metal detector. Yeah! With this product, you'll be able to learn about electricity and the relationship between a coil and a magnetic field. So, let's see what's in the box. So in the box we have a body, a coil cover, a coil bearing, an electronics holder, a thick double-sided tape, four thin double-sided tapes, and a circuit board. From home, you would need a tape, a pair of scissors, a box cutter, and a nine volt battery. So put the product together. Let's detect some metal. So here we have my ring, my coat, my cup, a plastic bottle, my smartphone, and a pair of scissors. Now let's check which items contain metal. Speaking of science behind metal detectors, applying electricity to a metal detector's coil creates a magnetic field. Putting a piece of metal close to the magnetic field generates an eddy current in it, and this current creates a second magnetic field. Placing the metal detector far away from the object you want to detect would not affect the coil as the magnetic field is too small. When you place the metal detector a little closer to the object, the eddy current's magnetic field will start to make the coil's current smaller. As you place the metal detector close to the object, the magnetic field will start to have a strong effect on the coil's current, making it even smaller. When the interaction between these two fields is picked up by the coil, the metal detector beeps to let you know it detected metal. So this is what's happening inside the metal detector when you detect a metal in an object. Thank you for watching and please be sure to like the video and leave a comment below. See you in our next video. Bye. In case you're wondering, yes, I did cut my hair.